Okay, good afternoon everybody, and what is today's topic? Well, we're going to talk about making a torch holder. Now, I've done a video in the past on how you can make one, and it works really, really good, and I'll show you in detail how you can cut and make the steel. This one's going to be a little bit easier, but it's very functional. What I liked about it is you can move it around just as easy as the ones that I show you how to make with a magnetized base. These aren't magnetized, these have a clamp on them. So I'm going to show you how to do these. Now I made about five of these. I came across a picture on the web, I turned around and I just did it in my garage. And I made a few of them for friends, I sold them for about 12 bucks a piece. And you could do the same thing. I mean, so make sure whatever you make, you take photos of, show them to your friends. This is a way to help drive your little side business and make a few bucks. Let me change the picture. No long intros. Let's get right to it. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the picture on the upper left. Now, this is just a piece of round tube steel. And you can get this probably at Home Depot or Lowe's or your steel supplier. You can find them in the scrap section where they throw their cutoffs. Take a look around. Now, what I do when I'm out there at that steel supplier that I have locally, I always look in that cutoff pile. And I get all kinds of weird little odds and ends because I'm getting it real cheap because to them it's just trash anyway. So they sell it cheaper, but it's still good new steel. So I take a look and I gather up pieces and you can find easily some kind of piping. It could be square. It doesn't have to be round. I mean, you just take a look around, see what you come across. Then you want to get some plate steel and then you want to stop and pick up a nut, a bolt, you know, and a few things like this. And then you can come home and you can make this very similar torch holder. So what he did here is he took and you can see, let's start with the nut and the bolt. Now he took and he made a little C and you can see on both sides, the picture on the right, the picture on the left, he made like a C and he made sure that it fit around the railing of his table pretty good. He's got a little bit of a gap there, but that's okay because in the bottom of that, he's going to drill a hole. And on the very bottom of it, you weld a bolt right over the top of that hole. Now, the way that I do this, I drill the hole in the bottom of the plate, and then I take that nut and that bolt, and I screw the bolt into the nut, and I drop it into the hole so that it stays right there in alignment. Then I take my MIG welder, and you don't have to overdo this, just on the front and the back, I make a MIG weld, and that holds that nut on there. Then I go cool it down, and then I take the bolt out. That way I know my alignment is perfect, going through the hole to the underneath side of this piece of plate, and it goes right through the nut. Now, you don't have to use a carriage bolt that's, like, that's in the picture. You can get any kind of a bolt, and you can weld a little piece of steel to it. Now, he used probably three-eighths or so, you know, uh, cold rolled steel here, the round stuff, and he made a little handle so that he can turn and tighten it up. You can do the same thing or anything else you have laying around. You can make a short little handle, even if it's like half-inch square, like, you know, rectangular steel, or whatever you find laying around. And then you can just weld it to the bottom of that bolt, and now you got a nice little handle, like I said, and it'll secure it onto that table railing real tight. Then, over here... On the face of it, he just took a piece of flat steel, and it doesn't have to be any particular width. You can decide on the length that you want, and what I did is I just took, I took my combination square, and I just guessed at an angle, and I just scribed a line, and I used my four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, and I cut it. Then I welded it onto the bracket, and I welded it on to that piece of round pipe. And you can figure whatever angle you want. It doesn't matter. It's not a critical thing. But I did have it at a little bit of an angle like it does here. Now, the nice thing about this is you can loosen this clamp, slide it anywhere along the rail or the sides or anywhere you want, and it will always fit on this particular table. Very easy to make. You can paint it if you want. Somebody uh, asked a question on the forum, and I've gone over this a billion times, but I'll do it again, is... The steel comes with a coating called Cosmoline, which is like a waste oil product because it keeps it from rusting. And it also, a lot of times, is going to have some mill scale on it. I clean them up. Okay, I wipe them down with acetone. I can go over them, you know, several times and get them real clean. And if you wanted to, you could take some light abrasive, like 220, 320. If there's anything that looks real bad and you can lightly sand by hand, I clean them off again with acetone or at that point mineral spirits or lacquer thinner will work but initially i always use acetone i get it real clean and then i turn around and i paint them now 
my shop i've got one that's painted like a hunter green or a john deere green and i've got a couple others that are just rattle can black um, either way you can paint them leave them alone whatever you like to do this is a quick easy project i think it's a fun project something you can do real easily with scrap steel and you should think about it because it's nice for holding any kind of a torch um, i put my my benzomatic you know map gas torch in here sometimes I did a video on that where it's actually cheaper to buy propane and the reasons why. But anyway, I just stick it in here because the tip on it gets real hot. Same thing with my oxyacetylene MIG. Same thing with my plasma gun. Um, you know, whatever I'm doing, this makes a real quick thing to safely just drop it in there. Stays out of the way and, you know, you're not dropping it on the floor and stuff. Okay, this was just your quick tip of the day. Hopefully you find it interesting. Now you can always tweak this too. You can make it to your own design, your own specifications. I'm just showing you this as an example to consider. I'm the Home Handyman. You people have a good day. Don't forget to click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Thank you, folks, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.